Colin. What? Get your lazy butt up and go get dressed. We're going to be leaving as soon as I get my lazy butt up and get dressed. On this episode of A Day in the Life, you'll meet Christina Stahl, a modern-day mom who's trying to balance being a full-time professional with being a devoted wife and mother to her five children. But will Ms. Stahl be able to meet the stress and demands of a career with those that come with her home life? Or will she simply succumb to the pressure <laughs> yes. falling asleep on both fronts? What is your name and occupation? My name is Christina Marie Stahl. I work at Penn High School as a cafeteria worker. Are you married? Yes, I am. How long have you been married? I am coming up on my first year anniversary in just about a week. How many children do you have? I have. Three kids of my own plus two stepchildren, so I have five total. So you mentioned that you have both girls and boys. Do you find one easier to raise or is there a difference? I find boys are easier to raise because girls are a little high maintenance and have a very bad attitude. For you, what in your opinion, is the most difficult thing about being a mom? The most difficult thing would be, I think, not having enough time in a day to keep up with everything that has to be done as far as kids and laundry and housework. What is the most rewarding thing about being a mom? The most rewarding thing would have to be watching grow and learn new things as they get older. You mentioned that you have uh, stepchildren. Is there a biological mom around? Yes, she is. She has visitation with them every other weekend. Do you ever feel like you might be competing with her at all? I don't feel like I'm competing with her. Um, there's times where I feel my stepkids don't necessarily listen. Colin! What? Get your lazy butt up and go get dressed. We're gonna be leaving as soon as I get my lazy butt up and get dressed. Because I'm not their mom. In your opinion, what is your great, greatest strength of being a mom? I think my greatest strength would have to be on. my will and determination to get everything done and taken care of and everything's all in proper working order for them. When being a mom gets to be too much, what do you do to distance yourself from your role? Um, sometimes I go, if it's too much for me, I go like for a car ride. I'm in back, I'm smoking. I tell my husband it's his turn to deal with whatever the issue may be, or even showers. Locking myself in my room. Is he always supportive of when you want to do this? For the most part, yeah. As a mom, do you yourself believe in physical punishment such as spanking? Um, I don't... I'm not against it. I don't necessarily believe in it. Um, I think if they were to do something bad enough, I would probably spank them, but that rarely happens. Since you don't believe in spanking, what is your preferred way of disciplining a child? I prefer to either take things away or make them stand in the corner or time outs. You're going to hit your back, right? <laughs> so knock it off and quit hitting them. Do you find these methods effective? Um, yeah, for the most part. I think it works a lot better on the younger ones than it does the older ones, though. Let's try not to do that again, because that was pretty scary. It was scary for me, too. Okay. I don't want to do it. <laughs> Stuff that could happen from doing what they do, it's, they tend to listen to that better. Do you think your mother would say you are a good mom? 
I think she would say I am. Why do you think she's, she would say you're a good mom? Because <clears throat> she sees how hard I work to take care of them and support them. And I think she, uh, you know, loves me just because I can do that. Like she, It's the same that she did for us when we were kids. Thank you.